Wildfire in a rural part of northern California's wine country has forced roughly 2,000 people to flee their homes and businesses. The fires are being fueled by powerful winds that prompted utilities throughout the state to impose power blackouts to prevent further damage. Sonia Hudson of member station KQED reports. Beverly Hansel was sitting at a folding table at an evacuation center in nearby Santa Rosa. She was evacuated during a large wildfire here two years ago and watched her home burn last night. I kind of feel like it was going to happen again anyway, so um, I don't know. It's surreal. It's just surreal right now. Hansel slept in her pickup truck last night and doesn't know what comes next for her. She does know she wants to leave Sonoma County because she's sick of the wildfires here. The Kincaid fire started under dry and windy conditions in what is typically referred to as peak fire season. For NPR News, I'm Sonia Hudson in Santa Rosa, California. NBC News, I'm Nick Roman with the stories we're covering at 433. Well, the weather's right for in northern L.A. County. The Tick Fire, that went in the hills above Canyon Country, at least 850 acres at, la at last count. This one burning very close to homes. Mandatory evacuations have been called for in a large area east and west of Shadow Pines Road, which runs right up the middle of the fire zone. Hundreds of homes are there, new ones built along the ridges. Golden Valley High School in Santa Clarita is the evacuation center. Traffic on the 14 North is an absolute crawl. You heard a few minutes ago, KPECC's Jacob Argolis is trying to negotiate his way along surface streets to get to the fire area. Now, the fire that it was burning, that still is actually burning in Castaic, the one that we were calling the old fire, it has a new name now. It's considered to be a branch of the Tick Fire, so they're calling this one Tick Branch Tan. That fire, though, has closed the 5 freeway at Templin Highway, the 5 south of Templin, with the closure at Hasley Canyon, still, uh, Hasley Canyon Road still in place for northbound traffic. One more fire note, Southern California Edison has cut power in a good portion of Canyon Country in an effort to prevent wildfires and all. Edison has actually blacked out 27,000 customers all across its service area. 9,800 in LA County, mostly above the 14 freeway. More than 7,200 in San Bernardino County, generally in the foothills from Rancho Cucamonga to the 15 freeway. And 5,300 in Ventura County. Another 386,000 Edison customers could be blacked out depending on the winds. And one more note, now a new fire in Van Nuys in the Sepulveda Basin, where we've seen small fires before. This one is at Woodley and Burbank, so far just two acres. And now we have an update on the tick fire, the size of the tick fire. That one is up to 1,000 acres. Also, College of the Canyons, both campuses have been closed, the one in Valencia and the one in Canyon Country. And just since you're keeping track, Chafee College in Rancho Cucamonga, which is close by um, another fire zone, although not near a fire right now, uh, is also closed. Uh, that's because Edison cut the power to that area uh, in the foothills above Rancho Cucamonga. It's all things considered. It's 89.3 KPC. Uh, winds very high above uh, 25 miles an hour and then uh, humidity is below 15%. So everywhere is dry as well as uh, the brush and grass uh, outside is extremely dry for this time of year. Now I know that you that you do keep uh, track of a, of a week ahead forecast. Can you give us an idea of what we might see at the beginning of next week? So the spending of next week is a little tricky right now. Uh, the models have been kind of uh, battling it out. Yesterday in our forecast, we, uh, we were uh, deciding between the chance for rain on Sunday and as well as a possibility of another Santa Ana event. So that's pretty much as different as you can get for, uh, for us. But now we're looking towards, uh, for today's model runs, we're looking uh, for another Santa Ana wind event next, uh, early next week. But we're still unsure about this drink. And of course, as we all know, these kind of conditions could uh, return off and on all the way well into December. Exactly, yeah. So the, this is peak Santa Ana wind season, unfortunately. 
Christine Stewart with the National Weather Service Office in Oxnard. Thank you so much. In Canyon Country, Santa Clarita and Agua Dulce. We told you earlier that it was 850 acres and then we moved that up to 1,000 acres to mass. There is an evacuation center at Golden Valley High School. And then that offshoot of the tick fire, the one that's burning in Castaic, it's taken out one home. A second evacuation center is open now. That one at the College of the Canyons Valencia campus. They're not having classes there tonight, but it is still open for evacuees. It's our fall membership drive at KPC. KCRW, it's a Thursday, October 24th. I'm Larry Perel. Here's what's happening at 504. And at least 3,700 acre brush fire has broken out in Agua Dulce. LA County fire officials say the fire is threatening structures. Uh, in, uh, homes and businesses, both air and ground units, are working at the scene right now. The wind is a major factor. Hopefully, due to the area being kind of sparse, if we could get a handle on it. That is LA Fire Department Inspector Sean Rios. The Tick Fire first reported in the 31,600 block of Tick Canyon Road around 2 o'clock this afternoon. That is between the 14 and Sierra Highway. The fire burning in a southwesterly direction. Rios said people in the area should get out now. Make sure you take your personal items, anything you can, as far as computers, uh, papers, pictures, and uh, birth certificates, homeowners insurance information, stuff that is invaluable and can help you after the incident. Well, this fire comes in the midst of red flag warnings and Santa Ana winds across the Southland. Agua Dulce is one of the areas where Southern California Edison had shut off power to prevent downed power lines from sparking fires. Another fire burning about 10 miles away is the old fire in Castaic that started at the northbound five around Lake Hughes Road. Fire has been burning uphill. At least two homes have caught fire there. Several other homes being threatened. Winds are gusting at around 40 to 50 miles per hour. That fire now has burned about 20 acres, but uh, flames have been licking up hillsides. And again, those homes being threatened. The northbound five has been closed at Hasley Canyon Road in the Castaic area. Southbound five also closed at Templin Highway. And that red flag warning in effect until at least 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, humidity levels right now in that area about 6 to 7 percent. Forecasters say that should rise to about 10 to 15 percent tonight with winds dying down just a little bit, gusting to about 35 miles per hour. There is an evacuation center that has been set up. It was at Golden Valley High School and now is at College of the Canyons in Valencia at 26455 Rockwell Canyon Road.